In case you're using a tabletop lactate meter like the EKF Biosyn C-Line, then you will need to use glass capillaries like these ones. There are other types, end-to-ends like this one, there are some that you need to break, whatever. What is important, there are a few things that you need to take into account when using these glass capillaries. Okay, so we start with taking the blood. You need to be even better with taking the blood samples in terms of forming the triangle because you need a little bit more blood, normally 20 microliters compared to a handheld device. So you take the blood and then what you want to do is you want to hold the capillary horizontal or pointing downwards when you take the blood. Okay, but as soon as you stop, you want to tilt it in this direction because otherwise you might get gaps into that. So you have air bubbles in it and then it's not accurate because the assumption is that you get exactly 20 microliters of blood volume into these capillaries. And that's also why if you see a little bit of extra blood on the end, you want to clean that off before you use it. So once you have your capillary ready with the blood, you need to insert it in one of these tubes. And when you do so, before opening, ensure there is no liquid on the top end of the tube because it might spill out when you open it and you don't want that. You open it carefully, you insert the capillary with the blood, close it and shake it. There are professional shakers, shaking devices, which, rec which is recommended. And if you don't have that, then shake it at least for 20 seconds. There's one little trick here. When you have a subject or a client who is bleeding a lot, then what you can do is you can take a, one of your cotton swabs and tear off a little piece. Use a triangle again to get a little drop of blood and press this piece of the cotton, cotton swab against it and it will hold and therefore stop the bleeding. And it will also not clock the opening um, until the next lactate sampling.